Number four, Saanich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I recently had the great privilege to work with members on all sides of this House on a book called Turning Parliament Inside Out about how we could improve decorum in this place. One of the problems that we now see ourselves facing very, very much in front of us is the prospect of sitting till midnight through every day of June. It's one thing to work hard. It's another thing, and I've been through it before. Every June of the 41st Parliament, we sat till midnight every night. And unlike other members who had parties where you could trade on and off, I sat till midnight every night. I can swear to you it wasn't all that productive. I can swear to you that sometimes this place was absolutely, well, I'm not allowed to speak of the absence of members, but let's say there was lots of room in here. The difficulty we face is that it's absolutely right, as the member from Miramichi says, that the House leaders on the opposition side decided to run a campaign of dilatory motions, of that this House now adjourned, that this member now be heard, that we lost lots of time. And it's as if the punishment for that is sitting till midnight till we get through an agenda. I don't know the solution, but I can say that I can identify the problem. And the problem is allowing backroom political strategists to decide what we do in this place for the benefit of a next election, instead of deciding as members of parliament standing in our place in our own two feet and deciding what we should do for our constituents to make them proud. And it's a sad moment when one side of the House decides to monkey wrench and the other side of the House decides to punish. It's not what our constituents want to see. It's not productive. It's not the best solution. But I do understand that the government House leader feels forced into this by the loss of time through the tactics of the last few weeks. I don't support any side in this. I just think it's a bloody shame that we can't work together more effectively and more collaboratively. Honourable member for Miramichi Grand Lake, in 30 seconds or less, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, and I just want to say that I have lots of respect for my colleague from the Green Party, the leader of the Green Party in the corner there, because at times I, I cannot even hear uh, wide open, and I know my hearing is, is, is going down all the time, but I have lots of respect for, for her stance on, on how to make this house work better and more efficiently. And, and if we had done that, we probably wouldn't have to sit till midnight, but I'm ready to work. I hope everybody else is. Thank you so much for your time.